Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. To create a new non-inventory or service item, click the Settings button in the QuickBooks Online toolbar. Then click the Products and Services link under the Lists heading to open the Products and Services page. If you already created a product or service, then click the New button in the upper right corner of the page to open the Product Service Information pane. Alternatively, if creating your first new product or service, click the Add an Item button in the Products and Services page to open the Product Service Information pane at the right side of a new window. In the first screen that appears in the pane, select the type of product or service to create. The choices are Inventory, Non-Inventory, Service, or Bundle. An inventory item is a product you buy and or sell directly and for which you track quantities. We discussed creating an inventory item in a separate lesson in the previous chapter. A non-inventory item is used for items you buy and or sell, but for which you don't need to track quantities on hand or value. A service item is used for services your company provides to customers. A bundle item is used for items you sell together as a set. To create a non-inventory or service item, Click either the non-inventory or service choice as needed. After choosing the type of item to create, a new set of fields then appears on screen in the pane. The fields are the same for both non-inventory and service items. First, type the name of the item into the required name field. Optionally, if you use SKU numbers, enter the item SKU into the SKU field. Optionally, to upload a picture of the item, Click either the Picture button or Edit button, which looks like a pencil, to the right to open a system dialog box. Use this dialog box to navigate to the picture of the item and click it to select it. Then click the Open button in the dialog box to upload it. To delete the item's picture if needed, click the Delete button below it, which looks like a trash can. If you use product and service categories to organize your items, select the desired category for the item from the Category drop-down. To create a new product or service category, select the Add New Choice from the drop-down menu, type the category name into the New Category window that opens, and then click the Save button. The next set of fields contains the item's sales information. To sell the item to customers, ensure there is a check mark in the I sell this product or service to my customers checkbox. Then enter the description of the item to show in sales forms into the description on sales forms field. You can enter the item's default sales price into the sales price or rate field. Use the Income Account drop-down to select the income account used to track sales of the item. If needed, to edit the item's sales tax setting, click the Edit Sales Tax link in the Sales Tax section of the pane. At the bottom of the pane that appears, then select either the Taxable Based on Location Only option button for standard taxable items, the Non-Taxable option button for non-taxable items, or click to expand the matching category selections for specialized products within the Browse All section above those two option buttons, and then select the corresponding Specialized Product Sales Tax Category option button if the item's taxable status is more specific. Then click the Done button at the bottom of the pane to return to the main Product Service Information pane. If needed, to enable using this item in purchasing forms, check the I purchased this product or service from a vendor checkbox in the Purchasing Information section to show additional purchasing fields. Then enter the item description to show in Purchase Forms into the Description on Purchase Forms field. You can enter the default purchase price into the cost field or leave it blank if the cost varies too much and you want to enter it at the time of purchase. Use the Expense Account drop-down to select the account to which you attribute purchases of this item. 
If you have a preferred vendor for the item, select them from the Preferred Vendor dropdown. To save the item and close the pane, click the Save and Close button in the lower right corner of the pane. To instead save the item and open a new pane to continue entering items, click the drop down part of this button and then click the Save and New command. To cancel creating the item instead, click the X button in the upper right corner of the pane. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.